Lyft President Kristen Zvercek to leave company after 12 years. I have called Kristen out many times over the years. Incompetent, not doing anything for drivers, especially when it comes to safety. There are so many Lyft driver deaths on your clock, Kristen, right? You own it. You didn't do anything for drivers when it comes to safety. You didn't do anything when it comes to pay or improving drivers' lives. I'm surprised she kept this position for 12 years. I have been told she got a $650,000 go away president, present. That's exactly the same number I sued, 650K I sued Lyft. So Kristen, on your way, on your way out, take that check, replace it with my name and make good. Um, I had settlement offers from Lyft. She revoked them. So obviously, you know, she is in my shit books, but not just because of non-payment and, and my suit, ladies and gentlemen. It, it's the history of Kristen Zvercek, uh, her wrongdoing, her incompetence, and just lack of knowledge around this industry to improve conditions for drivers and riders. So I just say one thing, good riddance. And then um, I'm not sure exactly why she was pushed out. Some people say she had a major dispute with shareholders, uh, but they claim that's not the case. We're going to jump into the article right now. But this is, look at that graph. This is where Kristen Zvercek left the company, right down in the doldrum. So she, you haven't done nothing. Um, and I, I don't know, wherever you go, I, I don't know who would want to hire this individual because her track record is atrocious. It's atrocious, ladies and gentlemen. Lyft President Kristen Zvercek will leave the company as an employee on August the 20th after serving the leadership role for 12, 12 years. What leadership role? What leadership have you shown? Zvercek will serve as a non-employee advisor to the company through November the 30th. Uh, Lyft added in the filing that Zvercek's departure is not the result of any dispute or disagreement with the company. So the, the fact that they had to say that, you have to question that, right? Lyft added in the filing that Zvercek's departure is not the result of any dispute or disagreement. Kristen helped pour the foundation uh, the entire rideshare industry rests upon. Well, if, if, if that's the foundation you, you poured, oh my God, no house will manage to stand on that foundation, right? Because the concrete that you poured for Lyft, oh Lord, help us. It's terrible. Lyft CEO David Risher said in the release as Lyft's first general counsel, then president of business affairs, and most recently as our president, she shaped our company and our sector. I'm sure she shaped the company, right? I'm very sure she shaped the company. Uh, let me show you how she shaped it. There we go. That's the shape, all downhill. Um, in the same SEC filing, Lyft said the company has amended and restated its bylaws to make the president position discretionary, not mandatory for the company. When Zvercek joined Lyft as general counsel, she was one of the company's first employees, Lyft said in a Tuesday blog post. During her time with the company, Zvercek helped shape the first ever transportation network company, TNC Regulations in California, facilitated Lyft's many rounds of private financing in the early days, and took the company public in 2019. Well, your stock price sucks, Kristen. And again, I am not surprised they pushed her out. I really am not surprised that they pushed her out. Um, so without further ado, let's carry on here. Um, by the way, uh, this is the individual here. Have a look at her. Uh, again, I'm sorry, nice smile, but 100% incompetent when it comes to leadership at Lyft. You've left Lyft with an atrocious stock price, 
poor safety. Many drivers have died on your clock because of your incompetence, not doing anything about safety or putting safety protocols in place. During her time with the company, Zvercik helped shape the first ever transportation network, TNC. Zvercik said in the post that now with Risha at the helm, oh Lord, help us, with Risha at the helm. Risha, another one. Loves to talk, loves to bark, but where the actions, Risha? There's nothing. There's nothing of substance. Has Risha done anything about pay? Nothing. Has Risha improved driver relations? No. Has Risha looked into ways to combat the poor safety? No. Has Risha implemented all these promises that he said that he would fast track wrongful deactivations and get the drivers back on the road in record time? No. Risha, just like Zvercek, you have done nothing. And look at your stock price. That's all I can say. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just telling the investors up front and telling the public, if, if they want to make improvements they need to let Risha well they let Zvercik go that was the good first step but Risha is just as incompetent as Kristen Zvercik both out these are just trash executives bringing the house down not doing anything for drivers and riders alike the business is on an extra the business is on an exciting trajectory. I want to show you the trajectory here. The business is on, a, on, a, on an exciting trajectory, said Zvercek. This is what she said, right? This is what she said. So I, I want to show you, Mrs. Zvercek, I want to show you the trajectory, right? There she said, the business is on an exciting trajectory. There's, there's your trajectory all the way down, all the way down, right in the doldrums, right at rock bottom. I mean, what a trajectory. Yeah, pshaw, straight down. Um, Richard joined Lyft as CEO in April 2023 as the company's co-founders, Logan Green, CEO and John Zimmer, president prepared to try. You know, <laughs> they, they got rid of some of the trash. Logan Green, John Zimmer, they re replaced it who for a few days looked promising. Risha looked promising for about 20 days and it was all downhill. Kristen should have left with Logan Green and Johnson. They should have cleaned house. They should have spring cleaned and got all those incompetent executives out. They kept them in for way too long. Again, where is the stock price right now? All the way down in the trash bin. So those transitions were effective on April 2023 and June 2023, respectively. So I'm sorry, Kristen, you need to go. I just, I just honestly hope she gets a job somewhere, right? I mean, who, who, who would take her after that dismal performance? Your comments, please.